Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be looking at SQL Advanced Security Options. So we're going to have a look on SQL Database Threat Protection. Advanced Threat Protection is a part of Advanced Security within the SQL Database. This is an add-in service that does cost more, but it can help protect your SQL infrastructure by detecting and alerting on activities like SQL injections, access from unusual locations or maybe access from unfamiliar principles or potentially harmful applications to configure this we can go back to microsoft azure portal and the sql server and then go to advanced data security within this you have the options where you can configure your vulnerability assessment all that configurations and you can simply switch on the data security you can switch on and you can choose the uh, subscription whatever the subscription you have and this will actually store it will use the logging information will be stored and under storage account so you need to give any of the storage account if you have one of the account you can choose otherwise uh, otherwise it's not gonna save that archive data and also uh, periodic recurring scans also will be performed automatically and that scan reports also can be sent to a specific email id that you give it here and adverse threat protection settings uh, alerts will be sent to uh, this email id whatever you configure here and later point you can simply save on this also it's recommended you to enable the auditing of specific settings that we discussed uh, within this tab earlier i'll just open up once again in a new tab uh, specific to the auditing settings and you see here under auditing you can configure the audit logs to store under storage account or log analytics or even you can stream to the event hub so these are the options you have so once you configure these settings you can actually save it before saving make sure that there should be a storage account that should be definitely here to store all the logs so i'll just give here so sql database security one two that's a standard name uh, which i wanted to give here click ok and then choose a replication also uh, mostly it would be lrs would be the best for me storage account has been assigned and then click on save that would actually configure the specific setting you can click on advanced threat protection types post configuration if you want to configure any additional settings for example brute force or unsafe actions data or data injection vulnerability or sql injection and then most client login all that kind of automated threat protection tabs can be blocked or you can edit the required settings if at all you wanted to modify anything i hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this